Are you finding that the way you always sold your products or services are beginning to become challenged? Maybe clients are changing and you're finding new ones are harder to find. Or maybe the new customers that are coming in aren't the ones that you're comfortable with and you're not quite sure how to serve them. Maybe you have a new product that won awards but isn't selling. Maybe you're looking for the next big idea. Could a little corporate anthropology help? So what is corporate anthropology? And should you be thinking about it? Anthropologists have always studied human society. We're interested in culture, the values, beliefs, and behaviors that people use and share, the symbols and meanings that we give to things, and that's how we thrive. We share these things because it helps us every day get along, and your business has a culture. Corporate anthropology is the application of anthropological methods and tools to businesses and organizations in complex societies. Could it help your business? I'm going to tell you a brief story about a client of ours that I think shares light on how you might do this and what you might see. I, it's a very simple story that could reflect your own business. Michael Coulton is general manager of a company called Benjamin Opdyke, and they manufacture and market house wraps and durability and other kinds of, of products that help houses build better. There's moisture removal and roofing and rain screens, excellent products. These were wonderful and sold beautifully before the 2008 recession. Then housing starts stopped and so did sales. And we were brought in just after that to see what we could do to help them reignite growth at a time when it appeared as if demand was simply too, too little. So what did we do? As anthropologists, first thing we like to do is hang out. You say, what does that mean? I say, we go and hang out. We sit in the lunchrooms and we watch people work and we spend a day in their lives and we begin to observe. We listen to phone calls and we watch the emails and see where they're coming from. We take a look at who they're selling to and we hang out with their salespeople. And what we really try to do is give them an independent idea of what we're seeing and what they're doing. It's not to evaluate whether it's right or wrong, it's to begin to understand it. And only by observing can we really begin to do that. We even went to trade shows with them, and then we took them out to their customers. Now their customers were distributors of building products, lumber yards and others like that. And none of them had a strategy for growth. They too were waiting for the housing market to recover. But we began to hear some things that became a pattern, and I always like little dots that become part of a puzzle. They're interesting. I kept hearing they're buying flashing for windows and new things for stucco remediation. And finally, I asked one of them, stucco remediation? He said, yeah, that's a real growth area for us. And I said, really, what are they doing? Well, so much of the stucco has mold underneath it that they have to come in, take it off, clean it off, and start again. As I walked out of one of their um, showrooms, I asked the head of sales and the CEO, do you sell to stucco remediators? And they said, nope. And they said, nope. <laughs> and they said, no, we don't sell to the masonry business. We never did. I said, and why not? Well, we sell to new home builders and to those who are remodeling homes with shingles. I said, OK, could you? And they sort of looked at me and said, well, I guess we could. I went back, and I met with the general manager. And Michael and I talked about it. And he did something very anthropological. He had somebody come in to do an assessment of his home that had stucco on it. And what did they find? A lot of mold. He was a perfect candidate for a remediation. And so what did we learn? That they were going to do it without anything between the wood and the stucco to pull out the moisture. And as he said to me, in five years, I'm going to have mold, and they're going to come back and do it all over again. Could his product be used to move the moisture out and keep it from having mold form? He said, you know, it sure could. So what came out of this? A bunch of aha moments. Stucco remediation could be a big area, but in several ways. He, as a homeowner, had no idea, A, he needed it, or B, how to do it right. So the first thing they said, let's help homeowners build better. And then all the people doing it, many of them were contractors they used to sell to when they did new homes. So they went back after their old customers to see if they could encourage them to use the product for the remediation. And then they built a wonderful website to do both, to match people up to both the product and to remediators, and to take people through the process so they knew how to do it better. Sales began to increase dramatically and quickly across the entire country from places they had no distribution. And when I asked him, how come you're not distributing in the South, West? He said, oh, they don't need our product. I said, well, all these emails are coming from the South and the West. They're asking for your product. 
So he became his own distributor, now selling direct. The e-commerce became extremely important, and he began to open up new market space. But I must tell you that I took them out. We both heard the same things. I was listening for unmet needs, and they were trying to figure out how to go back into the new home construction. It's really challenging. So why is this so hard? Uh, the brain hates to change. It's hard to see things that are happening. We are often blinded by the things that make us really good. But as a, an anthropologist, we can help you better see, feel, and think what's happening all around you. Those emails were coming in. We were just looking at them differently. And you could look at your emails, listen to your phone calls, and go out exploring to hear new opportunities and possibilities in new ways. And in the process, ignite growth in your company, improve its profits, and sustain as it goes along and builds.